So when God created Mike Colby, he created him all man. How many of you would agree with that? Yeah, and I'm standing next to him. <laughs> yeah, and so it's like Mike, uh, he put a boundary around you. And so you stand here, Jen, you stand over there. And so it's like he's got thoughts and attitudes and inferences and prejudices and biases and cognitions and emotions and, and uh, decisions. He's, he's got a great mind. He's got, I know him, he's got a great heart. But there's a boundary around him. So it's a little bit um, like the water in this cup. It's a little bit like the water in this very full cup, evidently. Um, <laughs> and then when God created Jennifer, um, and I can put my hand on your shoulder because we're friends, but when God created Jennifer, it's like uh, he put a boundary around her. And she's, um, she's very feminine, but she's no nonsense. This woman is no nonsense. I mean, she helps run a dispatch at Westcom, and um, she's quick on her feet and a great decision maker. How am I doing? And, uh, yeah, <laughs> keep going. And, and she's, I mean, she's a wonderful lady and a uh, great mom, and so there's a boundary. But then there's a boundary around the two of them. So I want you to imagine there's like two cups of water in a bucket. And if the boundary around, <laughs> these are really full, if the boundary is brittle like this, and there's pressure on Mike as a police uh, captain, and there's pressure pushing on him, um, either from the outside or if there's pressure from the inside pushing, what happens to the glass? It breaks, all right? So the idea is to not have a boundary that is so rigid that it can't withstand some stress and pressure. And you as first responders in the military, you have a lot of pressure. You got it internally as people, externally um, coming at you. And it's the same thing for Jennifer. So here's the rhythm on this. You, you got any, does he have any rhythm? I think I've seen him dance. A little bit of rhythm. Yeah, you got a little country. Being gracious right now. Yeah, yeah, you're being very gracious. And uh, in fact, you can't dance, and to come to think of it. But anyway, <laughs> but she can. Yeah, she's got a rhythm. And um, so when there's a boundary, Michael, around you and Jennifer, it's kind of like um, I haven't been in your new place up there, but you probably have a, a big screen TV. It's not big enough, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. It needs to be a little. How big is it? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, how many guys think he needs a bigger TV? Just help him out here. Okay, there you go. But it's like you got a TV clicker, okay, and you step into relationship with Jennifer, and you take a clicker. Let me see your clicker. Okay. And you put the clicker down so that you can look into those big brown eyes and connect to her, all right? right. Because you know she's got your back. Yeah. She's got your sick. She loves you. She's crazy about you. She speaks into you. She reminds you of... Uh, being a good decision maker and not setting yourself up. So she, you can put down that boundary and you can trust her. And as Barb said, we're going to talk about trust. But then you can put it down further and you can connect to her heart. And uh, Mike, we want you to connect to Jennifer's heart. Um, and then you connect to her physically, you connect to her spiritually. So it's like that boundary is down. But as you put that boundary down, Mike, I also want you to know that you need to put the boundary up around her and around your relationship. You see, there's a rhythm to it. And when you ain't got rhythm, because you, you're dancing like a white boy, all right? But when there's some rhythm in there, it's like you put the boundary down, you put the boundary up. So, so come over and put your arm around her and kind of dip her a little bit. Um, you don't want her Ooh. to fall. <laughs> see, you don't want her to fall. Good. And see, guys, in a marriage, that's part of the role that we need to do. We need to step in to the boundary. We need to, we need to put the alligators in the moat. You got that? And we need to put the drawbridge down, and we need to connect to our wives because they want to connect to us. How many wives agree with what I'm saying? Jennifer, raise your hand. Yeah. And so, that's good. See, those wives want to connect to you, and they 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 don't want to know everything, but they they want to know what's cooking. And so, guys, when we step in, we put that boundary up so that we don't distance and we don't drift away from the connection of our relationship. You got me. And then what you do is after you've connected, you you, you put that wall back up, and you kind of you know you put on your game face and put on the Kelbar and take care of yourself because you got to go out there and do what God's called you to do. But in this relationship, she doesn't need a police captain. What she needs is just her good old boneheaded husband like Barb needs with me. Uh, she just needs you, Mike, and right. she's crazy about you. And um, she, pardon me? Most days. Most days, yeah. Well, yeah, but most days. But she's crazy about you every day. And that's what we need in our relationships. Everybody with me? Yeah. All right, let's hear that's it good. for Mike and Jennifer. Really good. Marital boundaries. 